Okay, in this video we're going to connect to our free SSHD server, our SSH server in Windows, but we're going to do it through uh, a private and public key pair. So I'm going to show you the configurations on how we're going to do this. So here's the servers running. Go to SSH. Um, I've got down here, I don't need to make any changes here at all. On, under authentication, I've made a few changes. I've put public key authentication to required. Password authentication is disabled. So now, instead of using a username and password to connect to this SSH server, connect to this computer, we're going to require a public and private key pair. Okay. So the, the thing you want to do there is you want to set a folder for it. So on my desktop, I set a folder called keys. All right, and you can see in here that I browsed for it here, and I, I found it in here, and now you can see here is C drive, users, Dan, desktop, keys. So this is where my keys are going to go. And this time, I successfully was able to do this with the user Dan, but now this time we're going to do it with a different user named Bob. So you see here I've, I've got this user Bob, and it changed status, and Bob's been set for authorization, uh, public key, SSH only. All right and click OK with that. So we're going to set this up. Now, the, the keys that I'm going to use for this, for Bob, are going to be different for the keys for Dan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up PuttyGen here, and I'm going to run PuttyGen, and I'm going to say generate a key, and then it's going to ask me to create some random, randomness by mousing over this area right here. All right, so I'll do that. And I'm going to get, um, let's see here, all right, and there there we go. So what I'm going to do is right here, this is the public key in text right here. I'm going to copy this text, I'm gonna copy that, control C on my mouse to copy it, and I'm going to post it into Notepad. So hold on one second while I open up Notepad, and I'll just paste it into Notepad here paste it and save it and I'm going to save it to that folder called keys and I'm going to name it Bob same name as my username alright hit save alright there we go so just copied and pasted this right here this key into notepad and saved it into the keys folder if you look in the keys folder there it is, bob.txt. I'm going to get rid of the text extension. Okay. And it'll give me a warning. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, so now you can see there's this is my public key for the user Dan, and this is my public key for the user Bob, right? Okay, so I've got Bob in there. And now I'm going to save a private key. So I'll, um, and when I save the private key, I'm also going to put a passphrase. So I'll say uh, my pass, right. my pass, and save a private key, and I'll call this key Bob private, and hit save. All right, so I'll move this out of the way now, and you can see there's my private key for Bob. I have one here for Dan that I used before and now this one's for Bob. And What I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this private key over to a client computer that I'm going to use and I'm going to use this private key on another computer and that's going to help me to connect to this SSH server, this free SSHD server using uh, key authentication only. So um, I'll copy that over there and see you in the next piece. Okay, I'm in the client computer now, and what I'm going to do is I copied over the key, so now I've got pop, Bob private key, and then there's the Dan private key, and so I'm going to open up um, Putty, and let's see if it works. I'm going to type in the IP address of the server. Notice this is on SSH, port 22. Then I'm going to open up this SSH section here, and there's a place for authentication and you can put in a key right here. So I'll just browse for the key. Should be down here, Bob private key. And click open. 
and ask me to log in. I'll log in as Bob, hit enter, and then it wants the passphrase, so my pass, and I'm in. So I was able to log in with key authentication and a passphrase put onto the key, and this is uh, even a more secure form of uh, secure shell, and I have access to that server, and I've remoted into the computer. So I can, you know, do a DIR command, and you can see there's my desktop files, and all in Windows.